Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lauren Grace, and welcome back to News in 5. Today's headlines. Chinona banned from social media. Lawyers stage demo over human rights abuse. High Court orders Econet to release GPS data in MDC activist abduction saga. New Harare Mayo elections set for today. And lastly, your national COVID update. Your stories in detail. Chinona banned from social media. And guest investigative journalist Hope El Chinuno was on Wednesday banned from social media after being granted $10,000 bail at his fourth hearing. Chinuno was barred from using his Twitter account to incite the holding of mass demonstrations whilst on bail. Briefing the media on his way out of Chikarubi, Chinuno said, This imprisonment for more than 40 days has armed him with information which validates his argument that public funds meant for hospitals and prisons are being looted. They have removed me from Twitter, but not from Facebook. I'll continue writing on Facebook, Chinono said. Lawyers staged demo over human rights abuse. Zimbabwe's lawyers from different firms staged a mini demonstration at the High Court on Wednesday, raising concerns of the abuse of human rights in the country. Their demo was being perpetuated in regards to the constitution that governs human rights which are being stamped on. This comes in the wake of the arrest and prolonged detention of various oppositions and political activists by the state. Lawyers demand that the government should uphold the constitution and respect the rule of law. High Court orders Econet to release GPS data in MDC activist abduction saga. Zimbabwe's largest telecommunications provider, Econet Wireless, has been given a 48-hour ultimatum by the High Court to release cell phone records pertaining to the three MDC activist movements tracked through their mobile phones on the day they were allegedly abducted by state security agents. Justin Clement Fury gave the order on Wednesday following an application by the opposition activists, Joanna Mamombe, Cecilia Chimbiri, and Itzai Marova. Elections to replace Herbert Gomba, the former Harare mayor, are set to take place today between Nelson Chamisa's MDC Alliance and Tokozani Kupe's MDC Tea at Town House. Former Harare mayor Gomba was called by Tokozani Kupe in late August. Kupe has stated that the Ward 27 former councillor was no longer representing the party. Prior to his recall, Gomba was also arrested on corruption charges. Laksan Mukum Guma is MDCT's candidate to take over from recalled Herbert Gomba, while MDC Alliance has thrown in weight behind candidate of Jacob Mafume for the coveted post. And lastly, your national COVID update. Zimbabwe has 6,638 confirmed cases, 5,241 recoveries, and we are currently at 206 deaths. For more stories, Please check out our website at www.techmag.tv. Please subscribe to our YouTube at TechMag TV and like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at TechMag TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow.